to take it back. I thought she was going to take it back to when she got the phone call that Easy called her to come outside. No, sis took it all the way back. I don't... I ain't mad at you. You know the vibes. Yo, who am I? I go by J. I ain't know no savage shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. I still pop my lips, still snap. You know the vibes. It's J. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl J. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. I am back with part three of this whole easy and Natalie love story. And so far, you guys, I don't want to cry no more. I don't know what they trying to do. Jesus, they got me over here in my feelings. Before we get into this, you guys, this is off of Natalie's page. Is my best friend is in love with me. I do have a subscriber shout out that's gonna go to Bougie Pineapple Girl. You've been rocking with me forever. I just want to thank you so much for you know staying down with me, staying committed, uh, watching my videos in the comment section. Your support, your love means everything. Thank you so much. Everyone else, please make sure you are subscribed. Make sure your bell is turned on for all post notifications. Like, comment, share. Make sure you are also subscribing to my second YouTube channel, J Fitness Vibes. <sighs> Applejacks, check. Video ready? Nah, let's get it. Hey, baddies. Um, so right now, I am crap, it's dark. <laughs> right now, I'm on my way to Easy's house. For those of you that don't know, um, Easy, my best friend, um, she confessed her love for me. She basically wanted me to, you know, spend time at my house to think about my feelings for her um, and kind of make a decision on what I want to do. Um, so I'm about to head over there right now. I'm going to fill you guys in. you um, answer everything. more when I get to the car. So let's do it. Let me get situated and fill you guys in on, um, hold on, oh my god, okay, so guys bear with me, this is a mission, alright, it's hot, I'm wearing a mask, I'm stressed, um, alright, so I know that this is a little bit different for um, my beauty channel, I usually do, um, you know, beauty content stuff but I really wanted to make sure that on my beauty channel you guys get to really know the real me um, I want to include you guys in my life and just um, let you guys know you know when I'm going through something um, originally I was going to do this video as like a get ready with me I was going to do my makeup and talk about it at the same time but mm -hmm. honestly so I don't think I was going to be able to do that um we're, you know, both kind of going through like an emotional roller coaster right now, and I feel like it, it was just too emotional to talk about while doing my makeup. But I did want to fill you guys in. Anyone who is on this channel who doesn't know what's going on, um, and kind of give you a little bit of how I feel. We bear with both of y'all. Oh, all right, so where do I begin? Recently, um, my best friend, Easy, um, a lot of you guys might know who she is, Young Easy, she confessed her love for me. Yes, she did. We've been best friends for four years now. Um, literally inseparable, have done everything together. Um, and a few days ago, she told me that she's in love with me and honestly it was a shock it was it was it was very shocking i know that there has always been like little you know things like in our Big. relationship there was like this um you know unspoken thing that you know i felt like she thought it was cute or you know i knew that she loved me dearly but i didn't know that she was in love with me and um she kind of you know did it out of nowhere and it kind of threw me for a loop me too and she also recorded it and i knew she was recording and everything but i didn't know when she said that we were going to start being more open with our audience that she meant that open because it was 
sorry, let me, um, put my phone apart. But, um, I didn't know she was going to be that open, you know? It, it really forced me to be like, all right, I need to be open with you guys too. I need to let you guys know what I'm going through and what I'm feeling. So here I am being completely honest and open with you guys. And I hope that, you know, I'm not judged in the process. I hope that you guys um, really just support me and, um, you know, have my back through this all because I do look at you guys like family, you know, I feel like we're building such an amazing bond and I really do love you guys. So I guess I'll just go back to like how Easy and I actually met. So Easy and I met. Okay. Sometimes you gotta you gotta take it back. I thought she was gonna take it back to when she got the phone call that Easy called her to come outside. No sis took it all the way back. I don't. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Social media. Um, I DM'd her um, in 2016 and asked her to collaborate. We both make comedy videos um, on Instagram. And I thought she was hilarious and super cool. And I was like, you know what? I would love to collaborate with her. So I DM'd her and she actually wrote back. Um, despite having so many more followers than me at the time. You know, I probably had like 20,000 followers. And she had about like 300,000. So that's a huge gap. And I thought maybe she would act bougie. But she didn't. And honestly, we clicked immediately. From the first time that we FaceTimed, like, her and I were, like, it was like this. Fast forward to when I moved to L.A. in 2017. Easy was newly single, and so was I. So I think that helped us to become even closer. Because um, we didn't have, like, you know, boyfriends or girlfriends, like, looking at us like, what the heck, right? Um, we have built the most beautiful relationship over the past four years um literally easy's my family like Aww. she means so much to me we've accomplished so much together and <laughs> like you guys some of you guys know like we wrote shows together we've been on the news and interview together we've had viral pranks we've created merch together we wrote a book together like we've done so much like easy is not just my best friend she's like my partner in crime she's everything that i could have ever wished for in a person so when she confessed her love for me I didn't know what to think. Like, honestly, I was, I was shocked. I had so many different emotions like flowing through me and I was nervous. Like my heart was literally pounding and I just couldn't believe it. Um, she came to my house and I didn't even know she was coming, guys. Like, she calls me and I'm upstairs and she's like, hey come down i'm like what's going on like you know if she just shows up unannounced during a pandemic i'm like all right something's up she used to always do that and bring me like candy or like champagne and we have girls nights but during this time i knew something was wrong so when i came down and she was like oh i need to talk to you and she was like super nervous and stuff and filming and i was just like what is going on y'all like what is going on when we got into the car and she told me that, you know, she had something to tell me, like, nothing could have prepared me for the emotions that I was going to be feeling. So, yeah, she told me that she can't imagine our lives without each other. Um, not in, like, a friend way, like, in a she-wants-to-be-with-me way. And that she is completely like in love with me and she started crying and telling me that you know she'll treat me better than anyone ever has and if i'm scared like i know this is different um but if i'm scared she's gonna be here for me and it was honestly it was a lot it, w it was a lot to take in and it was an emotional roller coaster and the whole time my best friend is crying her eyes out i felt like I was being stabbed in the heart. Like, 
the fact that you know my best friend has been holding this amount of love in for me for all these years or Stab however long bag. I'm not really sure she didn't say exactly how long she's felt this way for me but you know it was heart-wrenching it was heartbreaking to know that you know all this time she was just holding it in and So now, honestly, I've just been doing a lot of thinking, um, trying to process the feelings that I have, and, you know, I've been seeing everybody's posts, all of our fans, and, like, going crazy about what Easy posted, um, on our channel, and, you know, it's just honestly added to the confusion of my emotions and how I feel and what I'm gonna do but you know Easy made it pretty clear that she she's gonna love me regardless but she said specifically that she can't go on like this as best friends um, without confessing her love for me so I don't really know where that leaves us um, and that's, that's honestly one of the most stressful parts is what's going to happen to our best friendship. Right. I understand. Um, depending on, like, I guess what my answer is, you know? Sorry. I've just been so stressed and I'm not really used to being so just open and vulnerable, um, like, publicly. This is getting so real. I mean, it's been real, but shit. I'm is. about to drive over there to see her. We haven't really been talking and stuff because she really just wanted me to take my time and she's been giving me my space, which is honestly, like, was just amazing of her, you know? Easy is just such an amazing and loving person, like, to be honest, I guess I'm just kind of venting to you guys because I don't really know where this conversation is going to go. She's stressing me out. You scaring me too. I'm worried, like, I'm worried about our friendship. And I don't really know how to feel. She's stressing me out. Her Bob. It ain't like, ooh, I can't wait to go over there and tell that girl that I love you too. I've been loving you for as long as you've been loving me. I don't know. She ain't giving me them, them vibes. It's like, oh, I don't want to go over there stressed out you stressing me out come on now natalie this for the home run i don't know how to feel guys but I, I guess it's a little bit of comfort you know to be able to talk to you guys and you know see what you guys comment back and what you guys you know post on your stories and stuff and it helps me to feel like supported so i just want you guys to know i appreciate all of that but also you know guys keep in mind that this is so different for me yeah you know i this a girl confessing her love for me you know i'm i'm not bisexual i've been straight my entire life um so I, it's just a lot to process so i just appreciate you guys being so understanding yeah. okay well i understand why you stressed i understand why she's stressed now she gotta think about a lot you know that's a that's a big leap onto a whole different lane like that ain't staying in your own lane and jumping three steps up that's jumping girl you ever you know like the track meets where they start at one point but they gotta curve their body then they get to that one point then they jump that's what sis got to do. She got to curve all the way over to the other lane and jump. I want to know her answer is. Supporting me, so. I'm on my way to Easy House now, and I just want to say whatever happens, guys, we are both human, so please keep that in mind before judging the two of us. Love you all. Oh, shit. Ah, it would end it like that. Jesus. I need to, oh, I need to stop it first.
right, you guys. So, again, she is giving me weird vibes right now. Like, I can't really read her. In the car, I, I was, like, on the second, on part two, I was able to read her. I kind of felt like they were there. She done got time to herself, got time to think. And now I feel like, I, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I got chills. My stomach is in knots over here. I think I gotta use the bathroom. Like, my emotions and stuff is getting tossed and turned too. So, we'll talk about that. After everyone just wants to confess their feelings for one another, we'll talk about how my feelings, my feelings. <laughs> what? Let's head over to part because I, I can't. Don't, do not do this with me. We're gonna head on to the next part. <laughs> I said feelings, confessions and feelings. I don't know. I'm ready to get to the bottom of this. I'm ready to get, cause now I'm involved. My feelings, my emotions are involved. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J-Vibes, you know the vibes, you know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch. You know the vibes. It's Jay. <laughs>